nscaler454 here and welcome back to the channel this is part two to the any rail videos and in the previous video obviously i built sections one and two of the layouts and that kind of had more of a tutorial feel so if you want to go back and check that out the link will be in the description uh in this video we're just kind of kind of get into well, building this second half and trying to figure it out. I will quickly show you the hotkeys, uh, Control Z, X, C, and V, just as a friendly reminder. Again, learn your hotkeys. They're, they make things a lot easier. Um, but in any case, let's go ahead and start designing. So the first thing we're going to do is build our bench work for Section 3. Uh, so we're going to go to Insert. Actually, before that, we'll go to Settings just to show you that the Snap to Grid is turned on. Again, it is size 2, meaning 2 inches. Uh, so Insert, Add Surface. We'll click right here. And then we go 4 feet like that. And that's good. Highlight it. We're going to say Line Width 0.125. Tabletop Background Fill Color is Clear. And height is, well, zero. Okay, like that. And then we are going to build section four. So we'll go with section four. We'll do the same thing. Insert, add surface. And then this one went to here, I think. And up to there. Okay. And same thing. Point one two five, tail top round, fill color clear. Okay, and then I need to build, well, basically this extension. But what I need to figure out is I need to build some track in here, and figure out what the slope will be because this, if you don't remember, is three inches right to this point right here, and then that's going to decline down to around this point right here. So I'm going to work on that little part, and I'll show you what we've done. So I added the track in for sections 3 and 4. Uh, this curve right here, I basically just copied from this section right here, just to try to make it as easy as possible. And then it was about adding the slope to it, the incline. So we're going to start at this section right down here. Right click, create slope. We're going to start at zero. We're going to end at three inches, 2% grade. We're going east. We're going to say OK. And then if I zoom in, it has a slope to it. And it looks like it ends right there. Now that's important because now I can go back into my uh, section three bench work. And I can finish this section right here. So we're going to go insert that surface to here, there, to there. And then we'll go like that. 0.125. Tabletop background. Zero. Height. Three inches. Okay. That's important because basically that's where we're going to build some like the wooden bench work. And then this is going to be all the way around the Woodland Scenics um, uh, incline kit, 2% grade. And that will end right there. The first thing I did was drew this strip right here, which represents the backdrop for section four. And now I can go ahead and start laying some track. So we're going to go up to Track Libraries, Pico, and Scale Code 55. And we're going to select this curved turnout right there. And I should be able just to hook that onto that, like that. And that brings it down like so. And now if you guys seen some of the previous videos, my layout, the idea is to have a small yard here. And then I'll have my turntable and engine house somewhere in here. Uh, but the real key is to figure out how that is going to tie into this. So I'm going to work on this for a little while and see if I can go ahead and figure something out. So before I lay the track down, I remembered I need to draw the lines for the cross bracing on the bench work just as I did before. Uh, you can see with these orange lines. So 
what I'm going to do is go settings. I'm going to set this to four inches because my cross bracing is 32 inches apart. We'll go insert, add line, which is here. And then here. And then what we'll do, should be able to highlight both of these at the same time. Nope. Okay, one at a time. Uh, we'll do 0 0.063 line color orange. And we'll do this one as well, line color orange. The reason why I do this is because it um, tells me where the wooden planks are going to be, or the wooden boards, so I don't put any turnouts on there so I can have my you know turnout switches underneath the bench work to work properly. If I really wanted to be accurate with this, I would set the line width to 1.75 inches. So I cannot have anything in this area, right? So, but because that's so ugly and hard to see, I'm just going to set this to 0 0.063. So there we go. So now I can go ahead and work on the track work. Many months later. So it's been about two years since I played around in any rail. But I finally wanted to get a layout plan complete so I could keep moving forward with the layout. Now, after some thinking and some playing around, I think I have a plan that I can be happy with. So I did make some modifications to section two. This portion of track right here, I drew to resemble the actual track as closely as possible, since this is already glued and wired down on the actual layout. But the bottom portion of the track, I at least have the plan as complete as possible. You can see I've added this siding right here, which I really like, but I'm sure it's going to change a little bit once I move to the real layout because I'm not sure if this track is going to run parallel to this track. It might just come off, you know, on an angle. I don't know if it's going to be right beside a building or through a building because I don't have the building yet. So once I have that, I'm sure I'll get this a little more the way I want it, but I expect that to change a little bit. Uh, but from the track from here over, well, let's see how this flows into the rest of the layout. So we'll go ahead and turn on sections three and four, and you can see what it's gonna look like all complete. In section four, we have our train yard, which contains a turntable, an engine house. We have an engine repair shop, a car shop or parts facility maybe, a fuel depot, we have some staging tracks right here. I may add some sidings right in this section right here, just for a little bit more staging. And I'd also love to add another small engine house for my CP rail locomotive, but we'll see. In section three, I've added a paper mill. Now I'm probably gonna model it as a plastics facility rather than a paper mill because I don't want to model any sort of wood processing. Uh, with this, I can still use box cars, tanker cars, and even some hopper cars. And I think that'll work perfect with my layout. Now, I've spent a lot of time thinking about the operation of the layout, and I think I have the flow of it pretty good. This upper track here is a main line, and this lower track really is designed to, you know, bring cars back and forth between uh, the different facilities and the yard. But either one of the tracks will work to, you know, bring a, an engine down to this section right here. And then once I have an engine here, I can slide in, do some switching in the paper mill or plastic mill, bring them back out, go back to the yard, or I can bring an engine down here, grab some cars from this section of uh, facilities, and then back out, back onto this uh, other track, and then back into the yard once again. So it all seems to flow pretty good. But if there's anything that I'm missing or that isn't working, or if you guys have any ideas that something that could be better or suggestions or whatever, by all means, leave a comment. I love to read it. It's always interesting to me. So that is our layout plans. I am probably going to widen this bench work a little bit. Right now it's set at 36 inches. I plan to make it 42 inches instead, just so I can have a 18 inch radius curve all the way through. That'll just make it a little bit easier to build uh, when it's time to actually build it. 
versus a 16 and a half inch radius like I had right here. So it's just a convenience thing more than anything. That may mean I need to modify the staging track just a little bit, maybe a little bit of a curve. We'll see. Something I'll tackle when it's time to build, which honestly I'm not even looking forward to it because I imagine all the switches and wiring and tortoises and whatnot underneath the, the bench work is going to be a bit of a pain. But once it's all done, I think this layout is going to be a heck of a lot of fun to play with. And to see that in the future, be sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, and thanks for watching.